guys, this is going to be a yarn tutorial. I saw a yarn tutorial on Lee Elisa's page, who's a fellow beige young gay on girl. Anyways, um, yeah, so it intrigued me because I think it's a very simple way to add color to your locks without dyeing your hair. Because I know a lot of people, even me, this is before I dyed my hair, obviously, but a lot of people are concerned about dyeing or even bleaching their hair, especially when you want a lighter color. So I decided to give it a go. I'm just going to do it on one of my locks or two just to test it out. But I'm not doing my entire head. What I've already done though is cut off three um, lengths of yarn. That's the same length. And that's what I'm going to use to wrap my hair. The video that I use, you can watch that here. And I'll put the link below. She did the yarn on loose hair so if you want to see how to add yarn to loose hair go have a look at her video so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to add it onto my lock so I have my lock here my hair is freshly washed and looking all fuzzy so you're going to have some yarn that you're going to leave out and you're going to leave it hanging down here and that helps secure the yarn onto the actual hair and then from there you're just going to start wrapping so you're going to want to take your time and make sure that when you wrap everything is flat and fairly uniform and then obviously when you're wrapping you're going to be aiming to cover up the the ends that are hanging down. So if you run out of yarn like I have still got quite a length here to go you just um, you know wrap the yarn down as much as you can and then I'm just going to start it again so I want to take the new set of yarn and place it here and start wrapping but obviously make sure you overlap the yarn that you've already wrapped hopefully it won't come out too um, puffy but just secure that and once it's tight it shouldn't be too too bulky so that right there is where I overlapped and you can't really tell So now that I've got to the bottom, I've just kind of folded the end in like that to form a little ball. And I'm going to wrap that end fairly securely. Like so. Just get the yarn around there somewhere, somehow. And then you're going to want to make sure that there is a little bit of bigger room here because you will be burning the end. So this is where it gets tricky and Laura help me because I really do not like playing with fire. Like literally and figuratively. But what I'm going to do now is snip off the ends. And then... Make sure you have enough yarn here to play with, to have a little ball that is separate from your hair. You're going to take a lighter or a match. I have some good old fashioned matches right here. And just, okay, don't mind that. Mm. I 
Okay, maybe the third time's a charm. So, after you kind of melt the ends and you roll that up, that's what the end is going to look like. My hair is really long. Let me see how it looks with everything in there. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So that is pretty much how to do a yarn braid. As I said, I'm just testing it out, checking to see how it looks. You will apply the same method if you just want to do highlights, but you would just start halfway down or quarter way down, how much ever length you would want. So as you do any questions, please ask Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, everything is done. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. 